Users can select several setting options for PLS by going to the option settings and then clicking on any of these options down here. First, view or change missing data imputation settings allows you to set the missing data imputation algorithm that will be used uh, in, in, uh, f f by the software to fill in missing data and there are several available here. The view or change general settings allow, allows you to set the outer model analysis algorithm to be used for the analysis, the uh, default inner model analysis algorithm, and we can have uh, the, the several options here. These options they are used if you do not set the inner model algorithms for each path. But you can set the inner model uh, algorithm to be used for a particular set, uh, path. We're going to see it uh, shortly. And the resampling method, the stable options do not generate any resample sets uh, and are particularly uh, computing uh, efficient. Stable tree is the default option. Uh, change modification set viewer change data modi modification settings allows you to define a range uh, 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 for your data analysis. So you can, uh, for example, you can choose any standardized or standardized indicator like this one and then define a range. Since I, I chose a standardized indicator, I could say define the range from minus 2 to 2 standard deviations from the mean and that means that I will uh, remove outliers from my analysis by uh, restricting the range. I can also use this option to do multi-group analysis by choosing, say, an unstandardized indicator that stores 0 and 1, 0 for one country, 1 for another country, and then restrict the analysis only to that particular uh, one country that I want to analyze. So I can do a multi-group analysis by doing uh, a separate analysis and then comparing the results. And I can also choose the option of uh, using only ranked data in the, in the analysis. Using ranked data, with uh, especially when you have uh, the data measured on ratio scales, using ranked data tends to remove outliers from the data. Now with interval uh, uh, data, data measured on Likert type scales, using ranked data in the analysis doesn't have uh, almost any effect and uh, it does not remove outliers from the analysis. Here in this option, view or change individual inner model analysis algorithms, I can choose a particular path, say for example this path here from project management to success, which is this path here. I can select this path and then define a particular algorithm for that path and then run my analysis, save this and then run my analysis uh, with only this path here uh, employing a nonlinear algorithm, all of the others employing linear algorithms. In this option, viewer change individual latent uh, variable um, weight and loading starting values. This is not going to be used by most users, but if by any chance you measure, say, one latent variable this one here, only through reversed indicators, then you would change this to minus one. Uh, again, this is very unusual uh, for someone to to use only uh, reversed indicators in the uh, measurement of a variable. What I mean by reverse indicators, when you measure excitement, all of your questions refer to boredom. That would be a reverse measurement approach uh, and you're not going to, typically you're not going to be doing this 
but in some very specialized uh, uh, analysis users may want to do that. And this concludes the discussion of the settings, how one can view and change data analysis settings.